Good afternoon, cult members, and welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. This is Sean, and this is going to be our trailer reaction to A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. This is going to be uh, Mr. Rogers' story starring Tom Hanks. And uh, I don't, I, I watched the show when I was a kid. I watched a lot of the show when I was a kid. And remember the trolley and the puppets and stuff like that, and Mr. Rogers coming in and changing his outfit. Uh, like, full costume change. What a diva. Uh, but... I, I didn't have a super huge emotional connection with the show. It's not one of those things where I'm like, I, I want to see, you know, I'm, I'm not clamoring for the, the, the life story of Mr. Rogers. Now, there was a documentary that came out, was it last year? And I didn't see it mostly because I don't want to watch stuff that makes me cry. And I'm pretty sure that was going to make me cry. Uh, but I'm interested to see what happens with this story and what they're doing. So um, here we go. Here's our trailer reaction to A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. And go. Hello, neighbor. See, he's making somebody cry. Ugh. Trailer before trailer. Hey, looking for Fred Rogers in here. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful wow, day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? That's a little Could creepy, but you cool. Be mine? Please, won't you be my neighbor? See, costume changes. He's a diva. Hello, neighbor. Mr. Rogers, I'm here to interview you. It is so nice to meet you. You okay? I'm profiling Mr. Rogers. Boyd, please don't ruin my childhood. This piece <laughs> will be for an issue about heroes. Do you right. consider yourself a hero? We are trying to give the world positive ways of dealing with their feelings. Yeah? Like what? There are many things you can do. You can play all the lowest keys on a piano at the same time. Look at Charlie. You love broken people. He's crying. Like me. It's going to make you cry. Sometimes we have to ask for help. And that's okay. That is okay. I think the best thing we can do is to let people know boom, that each one of them is precious. Coat. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, I see what's going on here. Um, okay, um, my initial, like, how I feel right off the bat, and, and this is not a negativity one way or the other. Uh, for me, I see Tom Hanks being Mr. Rogers and not Mr. Rogers, not Fred Rogers himself. Um, that is not bad nor good. Um, it is just how my brain is seeing it right now. It's just Tom Hanks. It, that's it's just, and, and that's not a, it, it's creepy for me, like watching his mannerisms and stuff like that of him being the part of Mr. Rogers. Uh, uh, but it just, Tom Hanks is an American treasure. He is one of the best actors on our planet. And I think he's super underrated because everybody forgets he's good in everything, no matter what. Even if the movie is bad, he's amazing in it. And it's going to take a moment for me to adjust because I'm so familiar with Fred Rogers and how he was on the show. It's going to take me a minute to realize it's not him. It's Tom Hanks playing him, which is totally okay. It's just going to be a moment of adjustment. That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, this is a good family outing to the theater to cry together. Uh, Thanksgiving, huh? Um, I, I find it interesting that they're going to go and the, it almost looks like they're doing it from the reporter's point of view and his 
getting to know the kindness that was Fred Rogers and his ability to help people no matter what. And uh, the show itself, I mean, it was, the show was amazing. Uh, you know, f Mr. Rogers didn't care about your race, your sexual orientation. He didn't care. Like he had people on all the time who were, you know, the news says you can't have these kind of people in your life. And he would the next day have his feet in a pool with a black man, you know, <laughs> he would take shots like that all the time. And I think that the idea of what they're doing here and telling the story of Fred Rogers and the Mr. Rogers neighborhood show is a really cool way of putting it. Partly because we had the documentary from last year that really went into depth about his, who he was and why the show was so popular. And so I'm just, I'm, I'm finding it like interesting, like, like why do we want this movie? And I mean, we want to hear the story and like, many people I didn't like many people like myself I didn't see the documentary and so having a movie like this to remind people of who Mr. Roger was I'm much more likely to go see a movie than I am a documentary although I love documentaries but like I said earlier I typically don't try to watch things that make me cry this is going to make me cry so you know Lion King made me cry so whatever uh so yeah I just I, I I'm interested I think it could be really good I, this is in that Oscar bait kind of time period. So they're obviously trying to go for it. And um, I just want to see, like, I want to see more of the story in the next few trailers. That's all I'm asking here. Uh, what did you guys think? think? Let us know in the comments. Tell us if you've seen the documentary and you think that this is going to kind of be on pair, up, up, on, on par with that one, pair. Sure, I'm hungry. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Help us out on Patreon. And follow us on all of our social media stuff. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. That's all in the description down below. And until next time, good afternoon, cult members.